Notre Dame recently held its inaugural event for our initiative on adult stem cell research and ethics, and the results were extraordinary. We had so many elite scholars and thinkers from not just Notre Dame, of course we had some very high level people here at Notre Dame, but also from around the world, both from Ivy League schools and from the Vatican. The intent of bringing together scholars to bring scientists, biological scientists, uh, some philosophers, theologians, uh, people who knew about cultural and historical development of science together to be able to examine this particular set of questions. I think it's very useful at a university such as Notre Dame for there to be a clear voice that articulates the ethical and moral issues that are involved in something like the destruction of human embryos. It would provide an opportunity, I think, to um, uh, focus and clarify the debate. So I would say that there's uh, an overwhelming need for an institution such as Notre Dame to uh, take the lead on an issue like this. I think it's really important also that there be not just philosophers and theologians talking about science, but that scientists themselves have to be engaged in this. I know of numerous of my uh, colleagues that are essentially being persecuted in secular institutions uh, for their objections uh, to these kind of um, uh, practices. Uh, there's no other way uh, to describe it. I think another function for institutions like Notre Dame is to provide a haven for academics and researchers that are being ostracized simply because of their moral convictions. We're trying to sort out what really is morally acceptable. And it isn't the moral acceptability to scientists that's the critical issue. It's the moral acceptability to the ostensible recipients of the actions of scientists, patients who are awaiting cures. We want to be a hub, a worldwide hub of research and scholarship on adult and non-embryonic stem cell research. We want to uh, be a place of training and education, not just for undergraduates and graduate students, but also professionals. And I think this could be a very unique place in the whole world in order to be able to do this. I don't know any place else that's really quite pursuing things in that way.